Hello everybody and welcome to Luck Poker. Today I'm going to give you an answer, what to be my answer, to one of the biggest questions players ask themselves in the very beginning of their career typically, which is should I play cash games or should I play tournaments? Let's start from the, uh, which is probably the main reason most players play poker, which is money. So are there more money to be won in cash games or in tournaments? Well, if you speak about uh, world class level, to be honest, I don't think there is a huge difference. If you take a world class tournament player, he's probably going to win millions. If you take a world class cash game player, he's going to win millions. So if your plan is to play poker long term with passion and study and putting all the effort which is needed, I don't think money should be one of the meters to choose cash games or uh, tournaments. If instead you are a recreational player and uh, you just want the chance to win a lot of money in a very short amount of time, uh, well, the best format which for you, the, the best chances you have to do that is to play tournaments. Tournaments have, are, have very high variance and, you, and if you're lucky, of course, you can win a lot of money in uh, a small amount of time. It's, in, it's enough one tournament, so uh, if you're lucky enough, you can get that. But again, if you are a regular and you plan to play in the long run and study the game, it really doesn't matter much. A factor which is probably more important to consider is how much time you have to dedicate to poker during your day. Because if you have a full-time job which will take 8 hours away from your day, uh, you don't have much left time uh, during your average day to perform at a high level. Of course, you can say if I only work 8 hours, sleep other 8 hours, uh, I still have 8 hours to take and play poker. But uh, what I said is high performance time, meaning that uh, in this extra time you have, you should be able to perform uh, very, very good if you want to succeed in nowadays poker. And I think that if you have, uh, let's say, uh, a full-time job, it's going to be difficult for you to become a profitable tournament player, simply because you will not have enough energy to stay uh, to, to perform well for like five six hours straight every day so in that case my suggestion is definitely focus on cash games if you have few time to, de to dedicate to poker your chances are higher if you play cash games in which you can anyway uh, keep a good a game even if you have less time uh, than, than a tournament requires do not undervalue these aspects because having playing too much uh, or when our energy level is not decent is something which will definitely prevent you from winning is something which uh, a lot of players get wrong uh, it's not like i have five hours i can play poker five hours this depends on the energy you have then another uh, interesting things that most players are not even aware of is your chronotype. What is your chronotype and why does it matter for poker? So, uh, this is all about your circadian rhythm. What is that? Uh, the circadian rhythm is like, uh, we can call it our inner clock that every uh, human being has, uh, or living being, to be honest. And uh, this uh, uh, inner clock tells us typically when it's time to stay awake and when it's time to go to sleep. Most humans ha are tend to be uh, awake during daytime and sleepy during nighttime. Uh, but there are for evolutionary reasons, uh, some of us have this uh, uh, circadian rhythm which is a bit shifted and some of us naturally and for genetic reasons uh, tend to be awake later than others or the opposite of course. So if your chronotype, uh, and this determines your chronotype, of course, if your chronotype is the kind of makes you awake later and you have more energy than the average human being at night, 
playing tournaments, since most of the tournaments are playing during night time, is certainly something which uh, you are you, you will have an easier time to do. While if you have, on the other hand, a uh, chronotype which will uh, make you tired earlier in the evening, then it's going to be tougher for you to be a successful tournament player. This is something you should consider because, you know, uh, this gives you uh, a real edge on your opponents and it's something which it's, again, just about genetics. There is nothing you can do to, to change your nature. So if you're one of those guys who uh, really gets tired early in the night, uh, I strongly suggest you don't play tournaments because you will have a tougher time than the average player to succeed in those games. Go for cash games. On the other hand, if you have one of those chronotypes which help you stay awake later at night, uh, I think you might consider tournaments because you will have an edge that nobody can gain, it's just about your genetics. Last but not least, I would say it's important to consider your passions, your uh, preferences and your uh, strengths, especially the way you uh, resist to tilt and so on. Uh, variance is very high in poker, both in cash games and tournaments, but it manifests in different ways. Typically, variance in tournaments is pretty obvious. When you run bad in tournaments, it's typically uh, easy to understand, you know, because you get many times to those situations uh, with a short stack in which you are forced to do an action and you, you know that probably this is the best play and if you get busted from the tournament, you know, well, I was just unlucky, nothing to do there. Uh, while in cash games this doesn't happen that much in cash games, uh, of course there are still coolers which you cannot, which, which you can do nothing about, like uh, aces versus kings preflop. Well, good luck. Um, but you know uh, there are many more small spots which we may even not notice. So when you run bad in cash games. Typically, uh, you really feel like a loser. Uh, if, you, if you run bad in cash games, uh, you, the feeling is the one that you forgot how to play. Uh, so, depending on what is easier for you to accept, is it easier for you to accept just random variance and to be unlucky, or you are confident enough to uh, survive those cash game bad uh, sessions in which you will just uh, not nothing works and you need to be uh, confident in yourself to keep playing your A game because you know if you have trouble accepting variance uh, tournaments are probably not the best uh, but on the other hand if you have trouble being confident in what you're doing and in your skills cash games might not be the best because you know it will tilt much easier and tilts are going to be heavier on you this is something to consider and for last but not least, as I mentioned before, is the passion or the preferences you have for one format or the other. Because, you know, as I mentioned, uh, poker nowadays is very, it's a very uh, tough game. Uh, there is more competition than ever. And if you want to emerge in this field, you need to put in a lot of work. And you will need to uh, fall and stand up many times. And you can do it only if you like what you're doing. So, if you do not like tournaments, but you only like the idea to, to win a tournament and so on, but you don't like the gameplay of tournaments or the study of tournaments, uh, do, go for cash games, it's probably better. On the other hand, if you really don't like cash games, uh, they feel too slow or whatever you feel like, um, consider tournaments. But, you know, always, always keep in mind that the work to be done to be successful in this game is a lot and you better like it because you know there is no way around it. So that's it, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, if you did please subscribe, this is the best way to uh, support the channel and to be always up to date with my new content. Bye!